There is Ike Haxton, who's worked his way back up from a quarter of a million. He's opening the pot. Makes it 17,000. We see a queen of diamonds in his hand and a queen of hearts. So he's got pocket queens. Over to Richard Yong. Well, Richard Yong has come in with a three bet to 17 after Isaac's open to seven. We can see Richard has a king of hearts. Richard usually plays it relatively snug and has done so far, so I expect him to have a pretty legitimate hand here. Isaac with another monster. We know he's lost a huge pot with aces earlier on. Cool. Well, he's only going to call here. No fourth bet or a four bet. The pot's almost 40,000. Kind of can't wait to see what Richard Jong has alongside his king. Well, there's one in the board, but there's a set of queens for Ike Haxton. So Richard Jong, that second card will be very important. Oh, wow, look at this. Richard Jong has two of them. So there's two sets on the board, Grant. Yeah, and it's slow played. It's three bet preflop. Isaac just calls and the flop goes just a bet and a call. I expect some fireworks on the Turnor River here. Richard leads out again. They're moving fast. 80,000 in the middle. And now he bets. The pot's up to 114. A set of queen in Ike's hands. He calls. We go to the river. And it is another five. So both players with full houses. Oh, this could be really, really big. Well, that is the worst possible card for Isaac. He's uh, now filled up. 50,000. Should be scared of a straight now, obviously. That might have been slowing him down a little bit on the first two streets. Now he's got to think his hand is good. Well, he's just worked his way back up to 112 in the red. He's announced all in. And Richard Yong. Wow. He says he'll lose to pocket aces, but he will not lose to pocket queens. And Ike Haxton, he's really disgusted with that. Well, he beat the chips out of Ike Haxton, let me tell you.